Entity Apart TV. The home of good education. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Aquaba, hello, bonjour, Sanu, uh, Kedu, and all that good stuff. Guys, welcome to the show. You're tuned into the 3D show with myself, Desire. It's a wonderful week, and I'm so happy to see back with us today um so it's been it's, it's been um a very insightful week and a very wonderful week the weather's finally clearing up and you know it's just getting better and better um it's the, the clouds are kind of clearing the sun is not quite out yet but it's getting a bit warm so you know it's all just exciting stuff in london and i don't know i think i feel like it's about 23 days until like we're totally totally out of lockdown in the uk so i'm so hopeful i'm so excited to just have some kind of normalcy back again yes it's been a difficult couple of months but you know we thank god and we're most grateful to be here and um yeah just see what life is like after a pandemic um yeah so you know you are tuned into the 3d show and uh like i said uh we have a wonderful show ahead of us today we actually have a returning guest with us today um you know uh, we had such a great feedback the last time that he was on that you know we had to bring him back so um unfortunately he couldn't be with us in the studio in person today but thanks to technology thanks to my producers and my producing team we are able to have him via Skype with us. So it's going to be a wonderful show. It's going to be a wonderful conversation. Please do stay tuned and, you know, get your comments uh, down there, um, you know, on Facebook. Get your comments coming through. If you have questions, if you have contributions to the topic, please do share. And also, yes, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know, about the show and let everybody tune in. So just before we go on, I would like to acknowledge my sponsors for the show. Um, you know, if you have, like I said, lockdown is literally about to just be lifted. If you have a, a show coming up, if you have a wedding, if you have um, an engagement, if you have a funeral, if you have any kind of celebration or any kind of event that, you know, needs video covering, please do contact World Media Productions. Um, they will cover it. They're, they're actually responsible for what you're seeing right now. Um, you know, they're my production team, and I do believe that you will agree with me. They do a very, very good job. You can contact them on 7 double four triple eight nine four nine zero and then also um you know if you want to get your uh, sia card and your cscs card as well in just one day please do contact its pro training on zero seven nine zero four six eight six nine four four and of course the very very most important thing if you would like to sponsor this show and if you'd like to sponsor me please do contact us on zero seven nine three nine four double three zero two eight or you can contact us on zero seven eight seven two three four eight four nine zero and you know it will be very much appreciated because like i always say every single week i'm running out of clothes so i need some clothing brands clothing designers somebody to sponsor okay um yes yeah, so i can see that you know a lot of people are tuned in and they can't wait for the conversation to to get started today we're actually going to be talking about connecting with ourselves you know i feel like during the 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 past couple of months during the lockdown a lot of us were forced to stop because before this pandemic, you know, it was all systems go. We were working, we were, we were schooling, we were, you know, just getting on with our lives. Just go, 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 go. But then when the pandemic hit and we were literally just stopped in our tracks, we were, we, we were just halted. Everything, life became standstill and we were, we were forced to face our demons. We were forced to face our fears. We were forced to face our anxieties. We were forced to face our dreams. We were forced to face ourselves and a lot of us didn't know how to do that a lot of us didn't know what to do with with that you know and so a lot of us found ourselves in very very difficult um positions and situations both mentally emotionally physically and you know just in in every way 
So hopefully today's conversation will help us to understand how we can connect to ourselves and the benefits of, you know, connecting to ourselves. So, you know, we're going to take a very quick break. Please stay tuned. When we come back, I will be joined by our very, very most esteemed guest, Dr. Emmanuel Nate, um, you know, and he will be taking us through this conversation. So do stay tuned. We will be right back after this break. ITS Pro Center. ITS Pro Center. I mean, it is pro. I just say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, teaching club for your mouth. SIA license. Now, but with your security, now you have a pedigree. Because of your net and go for a human sign, no one yet, you man. But we are making for more. I am ITS Pro Center. I want any better amount of here by four days. Perfect. No one's not a certificate. It's the other thing as I was the one I got to do. ITS Pro Training Center. And yet, as I am going to you. Yes, 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 Six nine four four zero seven nine zero four six eight six nine four four. Boma di ana free niya. ATS Pro Training Center. Address four five three to four five seven first floor, Libridge Road, E ten seven E. Buses do do one one five. Boma di ana brand niya. And the phone is where you are. Ba. We must submit me a work construction and security. And do the free. Na yaka wakasa. Yes, I'll tell you what I'm saying. Training center week. Now, I'm going to training center week. Two years. We have a car certificate. Now, we have a year. You know. Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, you are tuned into the 3D show with myself, Desire. Um, as always, whatever decision you make today is sure to determine your destiny tomorrow. Um, welcome to the show once again. So we are talking about connecting ourselves. Um, you know, like I said before the break, a lot of us were forced to face ourselves. We're forced to face our demons, our fears, our hopes, our our anxieties our dreams our i don't even know <laughs> but you know when the pandemic hit we had no choice but to stop and you know there, there, there was no excuse anymore and a lot of us i don't know about you but a lot of us couldn't deal with you know what what we were faced with we didn't even know how to connect with ourselves we didn't even know how to even enjoy our own space and you know just our own I don't know our own lives that we keep suffering for you know so today's conversation we are discussing with um, dr emmanuel nate about how we can connect with ourselves like what are the benefits and why should we even connect with ourselves so welcome to the show dr nate thank you thank you <laughs> how are you doing i am It's a good uh, and I'm good. I'm happy to be on the show. We're happy to have you back with us. Um, I know you had a a competition um in Africa this past week. How was that? It's all right. The uh, result I but, um, kind of learned something about myself. Um, even though I, I had to win, but um. What I learned about myself is to rejoice and be happy for other people that their time has come um, them to win and my time is coming to an end so I should be grateful for that and uh, looking at looking at it in that way is less painful. <laughs> yes, so, um, yes. I think I read somewhere that you have one last competition before you retire. Is that true? From yeah, um, competing next next week for champion. I'll be part for the championship. Um, I hope 
I can make it to the Olympics Games from this week um, if I can get past a couple of rounds. But um, if not as well, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm just grateful for everything and how far I've come in life. Yeah. So, guys, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Dr. Nate is um, he's a doctor in with a PhD. Um, he's a lawyer, and he's also um, an Olympian. So, um, can you just l let us know what sports you you compete in? Um, I do judo, and uh, I've done it since I was nine, and it's been, I think, the biggest part of my life as well. I do enjoy it, and um, you've won a couple of medals, right? <laughs> of course, not a couple. I've won, I've won a few, I've won a few yeah. cups and, and medals. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's 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 one of the things that get me off the computer as well. So let's 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 go straight into the topic for today: <laughs> connecting with ourselves. First of all, what, what, what does that even mean? Because, you know, for me, I feel like mm. um, if I'm hungry and I can tell I'm hungry, that's me connected to me. Um, you know, if mm. I'm hurt and, you know, I can tell that I'm hurt, that's, I feel like that's a connection. Mm. But what, what's your definition of, you know, how, what, like connecting with oneself? I think connecting with oneself is not a, a simplified term. Um, and one of the issues that has been bothering human beings since <laughs> arrival on planet Earth is who they are, really. <laughs> because it, it was like they've been dumped here and <laughs> sometimes they don't want to be here and they don't know why they are here. Mm -hmm. So the ultimate question is, who are you and why are you here and what is your purpose here? Because let's be honest, we didn't ask to be born here, right? We yes. just found ourselves being arrived here. So connecting with yourself is identifying who you really are. I'm not talking about the physical body, but I'm talking about your soul. Who are you within yourself? What kind of a person you are? This is this is very important because what the type of person you are transcends all the physical reality and the, the emotional pains and everything that we absorb in the physical body, it's mm -hmm. overcome all those things. And in order for us to have a different perspective of life, then it boils down to that, this notion of connecting with ourselves, going deep within, within yourself and finding out um, who you really are. Mm -hmm. Because knowing who you really are um, help determine your place in this world and, and, and your journey in this vacation that we have all embarked on. And it also gives you an outlook of life. However, it is simple, but the most difficult thing that most um, creation uh, uh, and being on this, on this journey struggle to... Um, come into terms with because yeah. when you connect with yourself then the ego get destroyed okay. and when the ego get destroyed the brain doesn't really like it so um what we mean by that in a simple term is try to identify who you are and and that goes to the question of asking who am i and why i'm here on this planet so how 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 would you say first of all i just want to say i just want to ask like at what stage do you think um one one should begin you know this 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 discovery is it something that you think you know we we should be like teaching kids from you know like not baby but maybe like from childhood to to you know to be conscious of the fact that okay you are somebody because what i find is when you're a child you've got everyone telling you like you know kind of what to do and who 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 we think you are who we think you're going to be but then but then you get to a stage and then it's like okay but i've been told i'm strong i'm strong i'm strong i'm special i'm special and then now like n no i'm finding out that no i'm not you know 
perhaps the strongest person. I'm not perhaps the most beautiful girl in the world. Now I have to discover myself. How, how does that work? Because I feel like a lot of us have that kind of struggle. Yeah, um, I think fundamentally you all, you always be that special one. You always be um, that beautiful person within you. But um, uh, it's it's up to you to have that confidence and that belief that you haven't changed. You just progress into different stages of life. Um, asking that question, sometimes there is it's quite sad, but most of the time when tragedy happen, people begins to ask themselves this question: Who am I? and why I am here. And and when you begin to ask that question, then you are on the journey of um, enlightenment mm. because you are on the journey that you are trying to understand life beyond the three-dimensional world. And and, and that, is, that is what happens. Some people, they learn this straight away when they are a uh, um, child. They learn to differentiate themselves um, with everything that is happening around them and, 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 and all that is going on in the world. Because when you are a child, as you are growing or as a baby, you are always connected to your conscious level, mm-hmm. which is the source where you come from. Your connection with the creator is so strong mm-hmm. and it cannot be diminished at that stage. That is why a child always react to everything and then for them that reaction is just smile they just laugh at every single thing because their central energy level is so high but as you're growing in society in the, the three-dimensional will begin to shape your perception of who you are what you should be what you should do how you think how you feel and if you're not able to differentiate yourself from there this constant program that is being input in you eventually become part of your DNA. So you acquire that identity. And when you get older, it becomes a problem. Because people begin to tell you things that ultimately are not true. And things that ultimately does not lead to, uh, 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 to define your life, basically. But you have absorbed this as your identity, and it is part of an, of your automatic nervous system. So when you get old, this replay back to the reality, and the downside of it is all the emotional traumas and the problem you have mm-hmm. in your life. And you have to it's, you you have to learn to become the observer, and the way to do that is to understand that you are not your thought, you are just the observer of your thought. Therefore, all the thought has no reflection on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can take the, 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 the thought as, as a group. It has bad, it has good, it has everything. When it's going through you, you have to let it pass. You do not have to absorb it because when you absorb it, the thought creates an emotion. Mm-hmm. The emotion trigger the others, uh, the other, uh, um, problems that we perceive in our uh, external world. Mm-hmm. And always the internal world is greater than the external world. So it's up to you to connect to the uh, uh, internal world. And the journey to self-discovery is to first to know within you who you really are. Mm-hmm. That question is the most powerful, love, intelligent human being. That is what within you and this is what you need to find. Mm-hmm. So would you say that, you know, like who we are, is it something that's already there or do we have the power to create who we, like who we want to be? Because, you know, everybody, the, the, the bigger question is, who am I? So is, is, is there like an already made answer that, you know, that I could discover that, okay, yeah, you are this, you are that, or is 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 part of finding myself deciding what I want to be. Mm. So I think first of all to understand who you are, you need to understand that you are a spiritual being possessing a human body. Right. So there is no limitation on your capability and what you think. But also you 
as the person living this physical life, you also have your independent decision mm. from your source. Some people may refer it to God, some people may refer it to a different thing. Mm -hmm. So that independent decision is up to you to decide, but you could still connect it to your higher source. Okay. You are also a co-creator in this world. Okay, so it means that you can create whatever you want in this lifetime. And to do this, I believe personally that we have been assigned to different agendas in life. And it is up to us to find th these agendas. And in the bottom line, that agenda that we are embarking on, the most important one are love and goodwill. These are the most underlining one. The rest happen along the way. So we need to first try to understand our purpose within us. I don't mean that your mom is telling you that you're gonna, you have to be a doctor, you have to be a lawyer, you have yeah. to be this. Year. You need to find within you who you are and what is your purpose in life. Mm. Your purpose always will lead you to the bigger dream. But okay. without the purpose, you cannot move on to the bigger dream and you cannot be happy, happy in life because you, have, you are not fulfilling your purpose. Mm. So you have an independent decision to create your own future and your destiny. Mm. How you do that and is up to you. It's not up to the objective creator to do this for you. You have to identify yourself. You have to put yourself in a better position to create the vibration and the energy that will connect it to your objective source. And this objective source will align all the energy in the universe for what you wanted to create to happen. So you can change your destiny, but how you go about it is down to you. And I think the Bible says in the world that God helped those who help themselves. So you have to, and that interpretation for me is, if I want to create a better future, I have to align my thought and my energy and my dreams around this better future. And I yeah. have to put this work, I have to put the work into it. And that will help the universe to bless whatever I'm doing in order that future so your destiny is not defined by society mm -hmm. it's defined by you. the yeah. limitation you put on you yourself will also determine how far you go in life so it is your choice whichever path you take everyone has a choice even though there is a higher power we also have an independent choice to make this decision mm -hmm. and it's up to us to make the right one. Wow. Okay, so I mean this is this is powerful stuff. Um so if if I'm understanding properly, is um what you're saying is we we essentially have the power to create our own purpose mm -hmm. and and our own destiny. Um so I guess Con connecting to ourselves is understanding the power that we have within us as as mini creators like like the bible said god made us in his own image therefore we are mini gods um and so tapping into that power and tapping into that source is is what 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 it means to be connected to ourselves so you yeah. can't just um you, you need to understand that one th there's th there's a bigger Oneness. connection that you need to connect to and once you understand that you need to understand the power that you have within you as as a sub connection to that greater yeah. connection uh, yeah but the, the but the, the fundamental truth in life is what you have been looking for and what you are searching for has also been searching for you, for you. all along or mm. has also been looking for you all along and why because the divine or the creator is a pure energy and it's light and you possess the light that light is the life you have when that light is dim or it comes out from your body all what is left is 
an object uh, object matter which mm -hmm. is on the floor has is lifeless and has no purpose yeah so you need the divine light within you and this light is what connects you to god that is why you have been programmed so high in such a way that you respond to the divine mm. in a click of finger you will lose your life if it is called for you mm. that is how highly connected you are and it also means for us human being is that we also possess the power of the divine to co-create and contribute to the evolutionary process in this world. Mm -hmm. This is very, very important. And you can only identify this if you live with faith and purpose. Mm -hmm. If you live with hope to believe that it's better to stay in the unknown and create something. Because the universe was born out of the unknown. Even if we talk about the Big Bang theory, it will tell you that there was nothing and there was the Big Bang and suddenly the, 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 there is a, a, um, um, a new order, mm. an energy that aligns everything. And, and then the Christian will also say that, you know, God created the world out of darkness and seven days God has a rest. So you will see that your creation point in life is when you are in the unknown. Mm when you are living instead of existing, when you are not calculating something that has happened to you 10, 20 years ago, when you are not trying to predict the future, to control the future, that's where the program happens. So these two things takes all our energy because your emotional problems means that I'm worried about the past because this is what has happened to me and I'm worried that maybe my next job I wouldn't get it. Yeah. So all this energy is, is, is been sucked out of your system mm -hmm. and you have nothing left to create something. So you need to do away with that and start living like the creator. Be grateful, mm -hmm. even though known. Because in the universe, that is where there is time every, everywhere in the universe. So everything exists in a moment. Mm. It's only in the three-dimensional world that we have day and time. We have space and time that work. Yeah. So you could, you could create every single life you want. If you are able to stay in the unknown and program your, your mind consciously to accept and be grateful, and love everything as it is, not to question, not to criticize, not to create anger, just love everything as it is. Mm -hmm. It's not your duty to question it. And then everything will fall. And when you connect with yourself, you don't judge. You, you don't even care what is going on because you, you, you are grateful for everything. You approach the flowers and it's so nice. You, you see the rain and you know that the rain needs to come for the for the um, grass and the trees to grow. Mm. So this is fundamentally, this is very important. That's why I said from the beginning is that connecting with yourself is so hard because all the things that are in the three-dimensional world, sadly, they are nothing to you anymore because mm. you look beyond that. Look beyond that. Guys, if you're just joining us, you are tuned into the 3D show with myself, Desire, we're having a conversation with Dr. Nate, um, who is an Olympian, a lawyer, and um, a motivational speaker, I should say. Um, and he's also uh, an author as well. And we are talking about connecting with ourselves. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very deep stuff. Um, you know, I guess when he's using words like three dimension and all of that, he might lose um, some of you. But, you know, if we want to put it into plain terms, I mean, everything he's saying is so important and it's not something we haven't heard before, but I guess most of us are not living by it because if we did live by it, you know, life will just be so easy. It's just a reminder that, you know what, just like the Bible said, you know, God created us in his own image. Therefore, we have the power to create as well. But the only way that, you know, we can do that is by connecting to, which, you know, for some of you might be the universe, for some you Allah, some of you know, it might be God, 
through Jesus. Um, whatever you believe, you know, your higher source is, you have to find a way to connect to it because that's one of the fundamental ways that you are going to discover yourself because we, we were created in the image of someone. You know, we have a creator, you know, therefore, if we're going to understand who we are, we must first understand, you know, what it is that created us. Right, doctor? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Do, would you would you like to expand on that? Because I feel I, I just want to make sure if I'm understanding, you know, what what you're saying, because I feel like, you know, this 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 is this should be like the basics for for every human being. You know, because like you said at the beginning, once you know who you are, it's very easy for you to determine where it is that you're going. You know, yeah. once, one, once you've defined who you are, n nothing or no situation is ever going to defeat you. So I feel like this is something that we overlook all the time, but it's something that we need to kind of come back to and, and just work on so our lives can literally like move forward. Like, yeah. That's why. Yeah, I think you're right, because like when you try to understand, you know, um, creation and um, how the universal law work, and if you also, whichever higher source you wanted to place yourself, you will see that all these higher sources, um, when you look deep inside, there is one thing that is absolutely clear in all, all sides. Is, it's based on love mm -hmm. and it's based on non-judgment. And if you want to live your life as a creator and co-create, you have to also replicate what the divine is doing. And it's through this that you will be able to live the life that will impart on other generations. Mm -hmm. Because um, there are other dimensions, there, there are other realms than the one that we are meeting on. And er every single dimension is based on pure love and higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. And our purpose in life is to grow our consciousness yeah. and we can only do this through understanding ourselves and where we came from because sometimes it's just feel like when we arrive here we forgot everything and and of course you don't want it to come here with knowledge of I know I'm powerful. I know I can do everything. Of course, yeah. there is no growth in that you have to grow and experience love in the human body. Mm -hmm. Love in the spirit body is different from love in the human body. So it's your choice to experience love in the human body. Yeah. And how you do that is you need to know who you are. And who you are is a spiritual being possessing human body that is capable of achieving every single th dreams they want mm. but ultimately to do that the mind has to change the perception has to change the view of life has to change mm. and you, the, your understanding of things have to change mm. when you talk with people who are really enlightened you will find that any bad situation that the, the human race sees, they will have a different understanding of it. Right. And and what they will say is probably everything is a chain. It leads to something else mm -hmm. because there is never a separation from what is happening here and what is happening there. Mm -hmm. So humans take everything in life so personal. Yeah. And the personality upstairs is what destroy us and is what stopping us from achieving our potential because this personality aspect is the ego mm -hmm. I am this I am that or I cannot achieve this or I'm not good enough you know or yeah. this person has done this to me I'm yeah. not going to forgive this person or why I work so hard why am I not achieving this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. perhaps you are not 
attuned to yourself you are just in your mind you're working hard but in your subconscious mind you are doubting yourself okay. so it doesn't matter whether you're working hard or not but if deep down your emotions are, 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 are emanating doubt that is what you're gonna get because ultimately it's the emotions that is actually creating what you want Okay. It's not going to church or talking so loud in the air. It is the emotions that create things. Because that's the spirit energy that's connected to the source. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. So if you wanted to achieve something, then you better be transmitting these good emotions and energy to your higher source. Mm. And then, when you are transmitting this energy to the higher source, what happened after is not your problem. The higher source will align the universe. That's why we call something synchronicity. Some people call it go, um, uh, uh, good luck. Some people say, oh, I'm in the right place at the right time. Yeah. No, the universe have aligned what you are looking for at that particular moment that's why you got that job that's why you met that person mm. because your energy is telling the universe this is the path i wanted to take mm. and this is what i wanted to achieve so please can you align all the energy pattern and make it work mm. because we all work on frequencies mm. and frequencies is what is energy yeah. right yeah. and matter is the lowest form of frequency so if you wanted to connect to the higher source you better be living high vibration and high energy level and that is true love compassionate that's true gratitude and that is true humbleness and this is why i said it is so difficult because all these things destroy the ego yeah. <laughs> however if you connect with yourself these things are natural to you yeah. because it is who you are but you know I mean, it's, it could be argued that, you know, Ghanaians and, you know, our people are the most humble, most, I don't know, understanding, yet we seem to always be at the bottom of the barrel. So how, how can that be explained? So uh, that's a very good question, but I will ask them, so what projection are you giving to the universe what information are you passing remember this is and i think sometimes this is where we get it wrong sometimes when people are doing meditation you 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 say that oh why are they wasting time just sitting down quiet not talking mm -hmm. because they are connected with themselves and connecting to their higher source or their higher self mm -hmm. right so it's done through energy transmission it's not done verbally, right? Mm. It is the same thing when you come to the Christian world. When they go to church and they are praying, shouting, what energy are they transmitting after? Yeah. Okay, so I can be going to church and praying, but if I'm transmitting negative energy, I will get negative results. It doesn't matter whether I fast and pray. The energy is what feeding back. It's, we are in a feedback loop, so you feed back your energy to the universe, and then the, the reply comes. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask yourself, what am I sending? What message am I sending? And also, when you are talking about goodwill, etc., mm -hmm. there is a difference between giving something from the heart. You see, I was having a conversation with one Algerian guy in Dhaka, and I said, fundamentally, the problem for African people is they do not have hearts. They don't work with heart. That is why we are suffering. With, with heart? Yes. Okay. Because your heart is the true intelligent source, and your heart is where the love comes from, and your heart will direct you to do the right thing. If you have a good heart and you give someone a penny, you don't even think about sex. You don't even think about asking the person to say thank you. Yeah. Because it's coming from a genuine person. Mm -hmm. If you have a good heart, 
and you are in employment, for example, or you are a minister, for example, you don't even think about bribery because you're right. looking at collective responsibility, mm, mm, how mm. The, this country will be better for everyone, everyone because you see yourself as part of everyone yeah. because your heart is connected to everyone yeah. because you, you are all one person, even though you are living in one different human body, your consciousness is connected to everyone else. Yeah. So this, this, is, this is another thing that we have to answer ourselves. Are we doing things coming from the heart? Or are we doing things to get a reward? Yeah. It's a completely different thing. So you have to ask for the emotion. What message are we transferring? And what are we doing from the heart? This is this is this is the question, you know. Now the Japanese are same. They do a lot of good things, but they are high. When you are when you go to Japan, most of them will tell you, Oh my, this GDOG, I'm going to give it to charity because I don't need it anymore. And if you ask them why are you doing it? Because they need it. And if you look at the way they live and their lifestyle compared to Africa, they are so advanced. So it's not about the image you portray. It's about what is within you. you yeah. Because yeah. what is within you is never a lie. Mm. That's why people say you cannot hide the truth from God. Because what is within you is light. Everyone can see it. Yeah. And the divine can see it. So what is within you, if it's negative, well, you will get that result. What is within you can never be hidden. God, this is, this is, it's, <laughs> it's something, it's something worth thinking about. What is within you can never be hidden. Um, again, you're tuned into the 3D show with myself, Desire. We are talking about connecting with ourselves. Um, you know, and I mean, like Dr. Nate said, when you're truly connected, you will emanate things like love, you will emanate generosity, you will just emanate life. Um, you know, it's not just about, you know, what you're saying or what you're choosing to show people, but, you know, if you're truly, truly connected to the source, which is, you know, God for, for us, to someone else, it might be the universe, it might be a higher power, whatever that is, the only way you can truly connect to yourself is that which is greater than we are. And once that connection is made, you know, you, you, you're, you're bound to, to just emanate light and, you know, love and generosity, you know, just peace, I guess. Um, so once once that connection is made you're going to be operating from a different um standpoint you know um things like you know this whole victim mindset and victim mentality is not is is not really going to work anymore because you understand and you know you're confident in the fact that you're the higher source so um i think that's that's a very simple way of um explaining I guess how we can connect to ourselves um so i guess from this point on once you're connected to the higher source and once you know you are connected to that love and you have that light and and all of that within you i guess this is where it's now easy to identify your purpose and start walking in it quite freely and easily yeah yeah um when you connect with your, yourself and basically finding out who you are, your capability, um, yeah. and, and, and then the other thing is living in the present. Living in the present, okay. Living in the present, so you have to all the time be in the present moment okay. because that is the now. It's, it's all that has ever existed since we were born anyway because, you know, every second miracle happens and every second people die, so it's the now. Um, is what you got. So you have to live in the now. Mm -hmm. And when you live in the now, your soul will always guide you to the right path. It mm -hmm. could be the decisions you make will change. 
because you are more guided within to make that decision. Mm -hmm. If you are guided from here, always fragmentation happens and bad decision happen. But if you are guided within, listen to the inner voice within you, mm -hmm. you will always begin to create. Because the voice within you align with its higher source. Mm -hmm. And its higher source will make that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when your we always say that when your purpose align with the higher source, miracle happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can only achieve this when you are in the now and you allow the decision to come from within and you allow your decision to be something that is not based on selfishness and greed, but based on the collective responsibility and greater good for humanity. So then it's, you, not, it's, it's not a good purpose to want to be rich. But <laughs> it, is, it, is, it, is, it can be a good purpose to want to be rich, but what do you classify as rich? That's the question. Are you do you classify as rich to be to have a lot of money and and, and, and live somewhere and want people to worship you or uh, or trump on other people? Mm. It, it is quite different. And and some people will say that why is these people rich and they have billions and things like that? But are they happy souls working on planets? Mm. I, I don't I don't think so. The problem with you get and this is the notion of greed and not being able to overcome your physical self because to find yourself you have to overcome your physical self you know okay. in, in what a, sense can you explain that your physical self so basically um your physical self is the person that live in the three-dimensional world that takes everything personal. Every decision is about them. Mm. Every um, problems or every trauma is about them. It's never an opportunity to learn something. It's never an opportunity to change. They always see the bad side of every single thing and have bad answer for every single mm. thing in life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. This is the bad aspect of us that we have to change yeah. <laughs> and it is very difficult because the brain control this aspect of our life and it's all based on the information we get from our external world it can be your friends it can be what is on the social media it can be what's on the media it can be from your family all this information going within you create these difficulties and this obstacle for us to advance in our um, creation process. Mm -hmm. So we have to overcome all this. And most people use meditation. Most big people use long walks. You know, most people will go to church and join the choir and pray and pray and sing to let go of all this emotional um, issue that is holding them. Mm. You know, and this is what is stopping the advancement. And we have to get past this physical world if you get past this physical world and you are no longer seeing things as personal yeah you are no longer seeing things as 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 is is me it's oh it's me again look at why is this thing happening to me again yeah. it's always me when you are not saying that you are learning to, to think that okay this is might be a lesson why did this thing happen mm. okay i have learned my lesson so universe thank you for this lesson but next time i want something different because my lesson in this instant maybe is to learn that i shouldn't talk to someone like that maybe it's to learn that i need to be grateful maybe it's to learn that i, I need to think that my time has come and i have to be happy for other people without any resentment uh, mm. you learn that lesson you move on and you pass that ego aspect of your brain that says that you have to win it or you have to acquire it. this person is doing this you have to get that uh, past that yeah. so the physical body ultimately 
is our limitation. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to train ourselves and our mind to control the physical body instead of the physical body controlling us. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's that's deep. That's deep. I like that because um I find that a lot of um a lot of this generation and a lot of things happening right now, especially with the pandemic and you know, with the protests and stuff hap uh, that happened last summer and everything, there's a lot of victim mentality right now. You know, it's like, woe is me, you know, and it's like, how do we move past the hurt? How do we move past, you know, all of this? And, you know, I feel like um, it's, it's, the answer is just let go of the past. You know, live live in the now, learn the lessons, and let's move on. But it just seems like a lot of people would rather just dwell on the hate and and the the hurt and just hold on to that. And I feel like that's what is um is really affecting our generation a lot right now. So you know, if you're watching and you know you're you're listening to us these are ways that you know we can basically grow and evolve as human beings by one let go of the past uh, you know live in the present and um and just what's what i don't want to say get over yourself but um go beyond yourself is it yeah yeah, move like, beyond your, yeah your physical body yeah yeah, yeah like it's, you know move beyond your physical body and you know kind of transcend your mindset above the victim mentality and you know just understand that there's a purpose for everything that's happening and like doctor said there's there's a chain you know with with all the events and they're all leading to a bigger purpose and a bigger picture so i think once we we understand that and accept that we will grow as a, as a, as people and we will transcend and 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 ultimately connect with ourselves yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah. you know and the thing is when you always play the victim game, victim game and leave it as a victim you always be a victim because that's that's what you want and, okay. and that's that, that's what give you the adrenaline that you, you you feed on this energy on what energy because it give you something to do and something to live on mm -hmm. and this is what destroy you so if you wanted to stop being the victim you have to do away from that conceptual mindset that i am a victim you know uh, um, and always bad thing happened to me mm. no you are a spiritual person living in a physical body so when something happened to you take a deep breath rethink look at the situation and then move away from it mm -hmm. because at every single stage of your life you leave different consciousness mm -hmm. So as a child, you live, as a baby and a child, you live your pure consciousness where you are connected highly to the divine. As you progress in life, you begin to live different consciousness and different life. Yeah. Because different life requires different consciousness. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to change your mind and align your thought to the higher source as you were a kid before. Mm -hmm. But if you're not able to do that and you're allowing your brain to detect and replay all the hateful stuff that is is basically imprinted in your DNA mm -hmm. because I don't believe the brain has the memory of what happened to us. Mm -hmm. I think the memory is imprinted in our DNA. That's why when similar scenario happen or where when you remember some hateful stuff, your feelings and emotional emotion yeah. goes up straight Everything away. Got, yeah. Because it is part of your DNA, you know. And you need to, and the brain control all this automatic nervous system. You know, one signature trigger the whole thing to happen again. Mm -hmm. So you have to change the way the brain works. And according to neuroplasticity, the brain does changes its okay. performance and it changes how it works. Mm -hmm. So you have to go deep down yourself and start on doing all those things mm. day by day you know it's a constant practice to yeah. do that yeah. and, and this is what help you to overcome this the the help and moving away is not playing the victim card mm. it's moving away 
living a different life and uh, and looking at things in a different way mm -hmm. and changing the way you see the world because good or bad it's up to you to determine what it is mm -hmm. but the effect and what you do with it is boiled down to you because you have the independent decision uh, or you are the independent decision maker in your life as well mm -hmm. it's not always down to some people say, well, my life is to tell me when I was born. Yeah. No, you have you have the power to change your life yeah, as well. The power to change it. Wow. Wow. And I, 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 I think that's what, um, the, I guess, today's discussion is, is it, it all boils down to you have the power to change your situation, regardless of where you find yourself, how big or small the situation is, how helpless you feel you still have the power to change that situation, the outcome of that situation. You might be facing a life sentence, um, you know, and yes, the, the decision might be in the hands of the judge, but in that moment, you have that power um, to, 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 act, to change the outcome because yes, they might sentence you to life, but you have the power to, to, to take that in, good faith or to be negative about it you know because some people learn to discover themselves even in prisons and I and you know in most cases I don't know if doctor will agree with me a lot of people tend to discover themselves in when they're faced with adversity because at that point <laughs> they, they, their ego has been taken away their ego has been shattered so they have no 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 choice but to depend on the higher source they have no choice but to you know dig down within them to 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 look for that strength to fight back um yeah so you know again i guess um today's discussion if you haven't taken anything away from today just take this um from you know the doctor you have the power to you know determine which way your life goes um regardless of the situation um so i have a few messages the nate family i just want to be part of them because they they really know how to support honestly every time we have you on the show they come in their number um i've got nana k nate well done dr nate and um, alice nate says well done bro uh nana k says uh your levels in the spirit is very high i'm grateful to have you as a big brother wow 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 um so just before we go um have you got anything um you know to say to round up today's topic or have you got any shout outs to any of your loved ones um anything <laughs> well I, I um I think um, what I would like to say to people is that um, whatever they are looking for in life is also looking for them or staring um, at them. So they need to let go, mm. you know, um, because for most people it seems that um, their souls is their souls are outside their body and waiting to to. Um, direct them and, and, and give them um, a direction on what they need to do. So um, they need to let go of everything in life and it's okay to be in the vulnerable position because when you are at that position, that's when the ego is gone and the light step in to give you direction. Mm. That's what that's what we, we need to practice and that's why you're right to say that some people find themselves in prison because that's when the ego is gone. Yeah. So sadly, there is a space for the light to enter. And yeah. then they begin to see different outlook of life. And that's what, that's the position we need to be. We don't need to wait for tragic to happen before we make the, the intelligent decision to go within ourselves and, and question our existence and our purpose on this planet. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, wow. Thank you so much. I could I could literally just listen to you all night. Um, you're so full of you know wisdom and insight. Um, you know I just want to say thank you so much for joining us once again. Uh, we're most grateful to have you with us. Um, 
good luck for your next competition and um, we wish you. you we wish you all the best and we will definitely be rooting for you and you know hopefully we will get you through to the olympic to the next next olympics and um yeah remember take your own advice you <laughs> have the power <laughs> You have the power within you, so please bring home the medals for us, Doctor. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. All right, yes. thank you so much. Thank you, Bye -bye. Um, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, you were tuned into the three D show. Um, you know, we've been talking to Doctor Nate about you know um, connecting with ourselves, and I mean, uh, I feel like we had we had a lot of. Um, gems in within that conversation you know um and i guess it all just boils down to you know um we we all have that power within us and i know it sounds cliche i know it sounds tired i know you know you've heard it over and over and over and over again but please just know and accept today that you have the power to create the world that you want you have the power to create the life that you want all it takes is a decision you know like decide within yourself today what life you want for yourself and you know just believe in that feed that little seed you know um, water that little seed and watch it grow watch it grow no one is going to hand you you know the life that you want no one is going to hand you the dream that you want the world the way the world is set up is to shut you down is to is, you know fight against you is to shut down your dreams shut down your hopes but the fight that you need to fight is with yourself you know because it only takes you to believe in you for it to happen and the whole world that everybody around you all the naysayers and all the haters and you know all the doubters everybody will We'll, we'll see, you know, the, that little seed germinating into into a great tree, into a great flower, and they will all be marvelled, and they will all literally just jump on board. So, you know, that's all it takes. All it takes is you believing in yourself, connecting with yourself. But remember, you can't do that without being connected to the higher source, which is God, or you know, whatever higher being that you believe is is you know it is for you so um you know i i just pray that you know we will all take these words very seriously and we will all do the work so that you know we will all grow within ourselves um it's been a wonderful conversation um as always i've loved having you guys with me but you know it's weekend <laughs> my glass of wine is breathing for me you know i need to go and sip 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 it's a bank holiday weekend as well the weather's nice so you know um please be safe out there still wear your mask so, still social distance if you can you know wash your hands sanitize and you know let's please take care let's have fun please we're all gonna have fun but still take care so that we can you know get out of this lockdown come june 21st and we can get life back to normal again so um you know as always, it's been great having you. Remember, whatever you decision you make today is sure to determine your destiny for tomorrow. Take care, good night, and God bless. I will see you next week, same time, same place. Bye. <laughs>